I grew up in Chaska. Uh, like any other kid grew up in Chaska. My parents wanted us to learn a little bit of your uh, language and culture and uh, you know meet your cousins and all of that good stuff. So they said, well, let's take a uh, let's take a summer and we'll live in Palestine. And I was 12 at the time, and so the kids went. We stayed in a town called Elbira, which is very close to Ramallah. Right after we got there, the first uprising in 1987. Schools closed and uh, travel was restricted, and next thing you knew, you know, there we were. People in Palestine have suffered a tremendous amount, in both inside and as refugees outside of Palestine, for more than 70 years. There, it would be like you can't go from Eden Prairie to Chaska, from you know, Minneapolis to St. Paul. Freedom of movement, which the Palestinians don't have. You were treated like a third-class citizen and uh, watched people get shot in the street. Well, the people in the Gaza Strip in particular have been subjected to ferocious military bombardment several times over the last 10 years by Israel. You know, I, I, uh, I was just trolling the interwebs and I stumbled on uh, the Palestinian Sail, Surf and Fishing Commission. There was a big drive for uh, people to turn in their used old surfboards to the Gaza children. A generous Qatari fellow uh, donated some, uh, some lasers, just small, you know, race boat. So I got a hold of him. I said, hey, you know, there's this big race. You should think about getting a Palestinian there. And he, he promptly told me, not only can we not leave the Gaza Strip, uh, but, you know, we tried to send somebody for the Olympics and they said no. And then he also showed me what became of those eight boats that were uh, gifted to them, that they were uh, bombed on the beach during the last incursion in Gaza. Uh, that was the nail in the coffin before this uh, project got started in earnest. To have put the best foot forward and to wanted to compete and represent your people and to uh, forcibly be told no and then to have what little joy these people probably get from going for a sail in the bay to have those boats destroyed and no way of replacing them. It's the largest open air prison in the world. Uh, that's shameful, uh, shameful. And uh, uh, you know, th that can't go on. My name is Nabil Amra. I uh, hope to be uh, the first Palestinian American to sail uh, around the world in the Golden Globe 2018 race. It's a solo race. Uh, it is uh, one person on a 36 foot boat. Uh, no boat can be bigger than 36 feet. No boat could be designed, I believe, after 1970. The rules in the original were you start in, uh, in England and you end there and you make it around the world and you don't get any outside assistance. No landfall, no uh, resupply. No GPS, no weather forecast. Nowadays with all the computer and every, the computers and the GPS and everything else, it's, it's, it's made it much easier. You don't get a good reading or you miss out on what's happening. That could be the dangerous spots, and that's that's the only thing that I worry about. Not something to be taken lightly. It's it's um, very dangerous, and history has shown it's been a very dangerous race. This isn't um, going around this lake, or you know, a holiday sail. There's real danger and real risk involved. Just finishing that race is actually incredible. I mean, not many people have done it. It's worthwhile to support someone that's going to be willing to do that. It's, it's going to be nine months of, of, uh, of discomfort, and I don't know whether I can say hell, but... <laughs> How would you feel about uh, doing some long-distance sailing without your GPS? Super dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some what I thought were big waves, but I know that they will be nothing compared to what, what is down no, there. You've seen the 15 to 18 ones, you're going to see the 40 ones. Right, so right. those 40 uh, foot waves are where, you know, a 30, 40 foot boat will look like a rubber duck in, the, in a tub. So. Right. <laughs> Your ability to endure and, and what you're enduring may be different from day to day, but 
uh, for you to absorb abuse and punishment. And I think a Palestinian has that in spades. We've proven it for 70 years. We can take a licking uh, for no reason. He definitely has a lot more um, perseverance than I do by far. Just the little bit that I've seen, there's no way I could do it, but I've seen it in him. He's very focused on this, this task. I know he'll put his heart into doing this race. I've seen it so far. The other guys have done it, and um, in the same type of situ situation, and they've made it, and you will too. I'm excited that this is something that he wants to do, and it's a dream, and he's able to see it through. Well, I like Nabil, of course, and I like the cause, and I think it, it's time to, 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 to give back. Racing for Team Palestine, sailing with the freedom that that in itself demonstrates, could give some hope to people that there are Palestinians in this world, elsewhere, that aren't there, that are thinking about them. This is very exciting for us, and we are happy to see the flag of Palestine on the ocean uh, with uh, many different countries. This is a, a chance to, you know, put us on the map and, and um, educate people. It's about demonstrating to oppress people around the world, really. I think people one-on-one -on -one generally get along. When too few people have too much power, they want more power and that's when there's trouble. It's not just about him. It's not just about sailing around the world. It has so much more meaning to that. It's cool to see the underdog have a good shot at it. People are going to want to hear this tale forever. It's going to require a lot of help from a lot of people. And um, he's serious about it. It's an expensive uh, dream, <laughs> an expensive activity and adventure. Especially a long voyage. It's all about planning and preparation. And all of that uh, requires resources. This is probably one of the, the, the most valuable contribution you can make. We're proud of Nabil that he is participating with this and support you, all the Palestinians support you, Nabil. Hopefully there will be a big strong contingent at the next Olympics, uh, Palestinian sailors. Not me, somebody else, but uh, it, 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 it all has to start. It all has to start someplace. I, I don't think the outcome for me as an individual is, is as important as uh, the outcome for an entire slice of the world population that lives in these places that I speak of, uh, that they will have something to, uh, to, to hang on to.